So I had to remove Crash to Lungfish's hollow log out and I put in a piece of black pipe Y fitting for him to hide in. And he has not been happy. As you can see how murky the tank is. He has been in the process of ripping his tank apart moving everything that he could possibly move and shifting all the sand everywhere into places that only he approves. Now the reason I took his uh, wood log out was one side was smaller in the opening than the other and he was getting stuck occasionally and having to really force his way out. So I was a bit concerned that he might get really stuck in there and end up drowning himself. So we took it out and we replaced it with this Y fitting of black pipe it's about a four inch, five inch pipe that he can go straight through or turn in, but he won't get stuck at this point. But he has stirred up this tank, spitting gravel and sand and stirring up the bottom. I cleaned out the filter and it's flowing at maximum speed at the moment, trying to catch up with his mess. is coming through. He's much happier now that he has something to at least he can hide his head in even though he's way longer than it. Here he goes excavating. He keeps rearranging everything all over the place. But he's having fun. He's doing good. And it's his house. What I did do with his log is I moved it over into my 125 gallon tank. Cleaned it up. Put my bubble stone in it. And it looks pretty good. Fish are loving it. We got a major power issue a couple days ago and all these guys suffered pretty badly I ended up losing 11 green terrors almost lost Bruce right there I'm surprised he actually made it but everything's back up and running my 125 gallon tank is doing good they're all happy again seem to be recovering. Just have to keep an eye on them for the next week 
make sure they're not stressing out too bad. But Crash's old house looks pretty good in there. Gives them something new to swim around and explore. It's pretty good. All right, that's the updates on Crash the Lungfish and my 125 gallon tank. Everybody seems to be happy now.